Chip. This is what I'm feeling like. Da, 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 da. Let me tell you what I'm feeling like. Da, 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 da. Your boy Dwight Howard made his debut in Taiwan. 38 points, 25 rebounds, 9 assists, 4 blocks. He made two three-pointers. You seen him out there, Sean. You was hating on him. Keep it a scene. What's your thoughts? Because you said something that shocked me, Vita. What did I say? I don't remember. He, he, did y'all need him on a 10-day contract? No, no. I didn't say we need. I would take him, but I didn't say we need. I said he need a 10-day. A 10-day with yeah. who? With anybody. Taiwan. Where nah, he's nah, at? Come on, it, it, come on every, every center in the league ain't better than him. Even, it, it ain't. How many teams in the league? 30? 30, 30. It ain't 30 start centers than him. But even if you don't put him in the starter, you can bring him off your bench. I don't, I don't know. I think with Dwight Howard, his type of game, catching hoops and all of that, he he can't do that no more with the younger guys. Yes, he guy. can. You've seen that he can, he can do a whole lot more when given the opportunity. But if you don't need him to do that, all you can use is him. He's a big body. Grab he eight. He can do a whole – you're not eight talking ten. about him doing that over Taiwan. No, right? but I'm saying he can do more than we thought he could do because he wasn't given the opportunity. He's not going to do that in the league because he's not going to be given the opportunity. But I'm saying as big as he is, he can still get you 8 to 12 rebounds in the game. That's all you need from him. And a couple put-back dunks. And they ran pick and roll with him. That's what I'm saying. All you need – see, you, he ain't probably going to get – what he getting over no, there? No, 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 no. They ran pick and roll with him running. Oh, running the pick, yeah. Him, him running yeah. the point. The handle. I yeah, see him, him. Him running the point. I see you shining over there. <laughs> but listen, Vito, because we went back and forth, and I told you something, and you never replied to well, me because right? I wasn't going back and forth about this. Listen, shit. Dwight Howard averaged them numbers right. And them numbers ain't close to Wilk Chamberlain numbers, and he's playing in the Taiwan League. This equivalent, minus the talent, I'm talking about height wise. No, and no, all. no, no. What, what you said, height. Go back and look at the um video. Them guys that were sticking him was his size. Yes, his size. I'm talking about them guys over Taiwan. Yes, was, was the, the white size. No, man. Go, I, you, what, you want man. me to show you again? Man, he playing against five nine niggas. Come man. on, man! Are you forgetting that he's playing against Americans too? Man, it's the Taiwan League, but it's overseas he, ball. He's playing against dudes that six three and short. You know, listen, after we get off, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna show you the guys. It was guys on the team that's seven foot. <coughs> I don't know about that one, but that don't even matter. Uh, it takes you for you to get that. them type of numbers. When people from overseas get called up, how do they get called up? I'm giving out numbers. That's what he's doing. What I'm saying is, even with him shooting threes, he's still waiting on Wilk numbers, and he's playing. Wilk got to do anything now? Because what I'm saying is, how hard it was for what Wilk was doing back then, and with Bill Russell and them, them numbers, them guys was putting up. You saying like now nah, the competition is that in third? Yeah. No, what they was doing, if if it was like that, Dwight Howard can average Wilt numbers in this league, and I don't think that's possible. No, this he ain't can't. Wilt numbers. Dwight Howard can't average Wilt numbers in this league. And in, in this Taiwan league, and the Taiwan. No, I don't still don't think he would average Wilt numbers. Like the numbers that's he had that game, I'm, he won't average that. That's why I'm saying, no matter the level of competition, what Wilt and Bill was doing back in the day. You have to pay homage to them numbers. No, you pay no. homage to them doing what they did in that era. I, there's no debate in that. But that doesn't mean when we put them guys of overall top 10, that doesn't mean that I can't take one of them out and put a guy it in and change that. It doesn't mean that. But what I'm saying is you can't look and say, oh, no, he averaged 50 and 30 because of his competition. Yes, that, you can. That's, that's the only reason no, why you average 50 and 30. No, that's because, bullshit because that's the, you don't you can, right now you can take anybody. You can take the most dominant player, Embiid, Giannis, whoever you Giannis want. Giannis would average. No, he would Giannis would he average. He average no, Wilt numbers me. over there. Giannis no, averages 30 in the league. He wouldn't average Wilt numbers, My man, bro. Giannis averaged 
30 in the best league in the world. Okay. I, so what the fuck do you think he's going to do with Taiwan? He would average the score. He would average 50. Yes, but would he average the 30 and the 8 blocks? Yes. The fuck yes, the he fuck he would. He, would he, he averaged, a double, he no, averaged the, double digit rebounds, no, he double digit bro. points over here. Bro. Who is going to stop him over there? Come bro, on, man. He would not average. And yeah, yeah. Competition does have to do with what you average because... What? If that's the case, you say Mike's the best that ever done it, right? Right. He ain't average wilt numbers. So how was he the best that ever done it? I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is when you go to take one of them guys out the top 10, everybody's always going to take them out because would, uh, was it Gilbert Arenas, J.J. Reddick, they said that they was playing against plumbers that and was all. J.J. Reddick. Right. So what I'm saying is, that's still not accurate because anybody can't do that. Dwight, you just said Dwight Howard can't average thirty-eight and twenty-five over there. No, this league, d- d- but, but the talent hold, is hold, 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 different hold from. On. He can't average that over there because I've, the players got have been getting better overseas, and there are American players in that league too. I guarantee you he can average them. I guarantee he can average 50 and, and something in that fucking league back then with Wilton and play. As no, athletic, he you no, tripping. No, the fuck. As athletic Dwight, as he is, Dwight come Howard, on, the yes. reason. Why yes. is Dwight Howard in, not in the league? Because he, he's been in the league 20 so, fucking years. Because he can't jump no more, right? Cause he can't, I can't tell. He just he, was dunking what, that shit like yes, against five eight niggas. So what does that have to do with him on, not being able to jump? Hold though? on, what I'm saying is in the NBA, his game is predicated off of alley oops and shit like that. That's what you're gonna use right, him for. Let me ask you a question. In today's game, is Dwight Howard a scorer? Now, ever was he ever known as a scorer? Not really. Okay. You know, the way Howard averaged 20 points in the league and took his team to a championship and lost in the championship to the Lakers. I understand that, but Dwight Howard got averaged all his points off dunks and all that. No, he, he didn't. Never, no, he didn't. He never had There's no There's no in the world moves. you averaging 20 points a game off of strictly and getting the offensive backs. rebound and putting it back in oops. And dunks. No. That's, come on, no. man. Dwight Howard he never was getting had that shit no in the post game. So how was he scoring? He's not scoring 20 points off rebound. Dunks. Layups. Stuff okay, like dunks that. and layups. So what's it? So he's getting the ball, dunking it, and laying it up. Dunks and layups. So he doesn't fuck? have no post moves. If you can and get a dunk and a layup, but though you don't, what the fuck does that matter? How you get your points? Why wasn't he successful in the in the finals? Because he he played against Gasol. It was his height bigger than him. What you, why had, wasn't he? Uh, who says he, he wasn't he, successful in the finals? Come on, man. What was his numbers in the finals? You don't even know. You just saying shit. He, he wasn't successful. What was his numbers? What was Gasol numbers? You don't know anybody's numbers to even make that. I know statement. Gasol number one. That's all you know. And I know Dwight Howard numbers wasn't the same. You don't know no, Dwight Hump, we already talked about this. But it'll be on the no, screen. you talked about it. Okay. Shout out to that. Come but on, again, man. like I said, Wilt, them Wilt numbers and all that, man, don't don't be disrespectful. Them when Wilt numbers it. are the way they are because of who he played against. And no, and it's simple. You can't put nobody in one of them bum leagues right now and they can average them numbers. Yes, you can. Um, you ain't heard a guy named um. Was it last name was Almond? Used to uh play play in the NBA for a little while, play in the D League. He averaged like fifty in the league uh, over there. You ever heard? Of, uh, matter of fact, OT. I'm talking about. He averaged forty overseas. What I'm talking about is fifty and thirty. OT is a guard and You're averaged forty and, and fifteen. And what I'm saying is fifty and thirty. Yes. You're, you're never going to have that. What's that. What Giannis average is the equivalent to that. No, and it's now, not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. If you can average 30 in today's league, call him a you Uber. can average 50 in the fucking no, 50s. No, call him a Uber. Come on, man. Call him a Uber. Listen, we, we had it in the week 12. Let's go power rankings, Vito. Who's your top five teams in the NFL going into week 12? Um... I got the Uber on standby if you need it. Nah, I don't need it. You sure? Yeah, number five, I'm going to go with the Bills. Okay. Four, the Vikings. Okay. Three, the Dolphins. Two, the Eagles. And one, the Chiefs. Okay, you got KC at one. Okay, shout yeah. out to that. Um, five, I'm going Minnesota. Four, I'm going Buffalo. Three, I'm going KC. 
two, I'm going Philly. And my new number one is Miami. Still having lost when Tua plays a whole game. Um, They coming off a bye. But, you know, they move into my number one. I know they got three losses, but they're still undefeated with Tua start to finish. So, what's your thoughts on it? Coming into week 12, people. What's your top five teams in the NFL? Keep the C note with us. Do you think they could beat the Chiefs? Who? Miami. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. Cause like I like I already just said on the recap a couple weeks ago, um, Miami still ain't in full strength. They still ain't in get Xavier Howard and them back yet. So them that's just more pieces and their defense is nice, bro. And you know, um, it don't it don't matter because matchups is matchups. But Buffalo beat KC, didn't they? Yeah, Buffalo yeah. beat KC and Miami, Miami beat, beat Buffalo. Buffalo. But so that don't mean that. That's why I said you can't go off of that. But what I'm saying right now, until somebody beat two on them, I got them. I got them as top dogs because they're still like undefeated in my book. In my undefeated. book, they're still undefeated. They got three losses without Tua. Okay, but then you can say that about anybody. If they didn't, if such and such wasn't out, they would have won. So they would have been undefeated but without. What's but I'm name? saying with their starting quarterback, bro, on, they're man. undefeated. That, you can't. That, that makes that's not that don't make a motherfucking difference. The team is the team. Let me ask you something, Vito. What right? if they caught up? What if the quarter? You go to the team, the quarterback ain't the best player, and the best player been out. Okay. Can you I, say they're undefeated? I, I understand that, but you got to give me a team that's doing that right now. When the best player was out? Yeah, and and they ain't lost a game with the best player. You mean you can't give me no team? I don't know, but that don't mean shit. I probably can't give you one off top. What I'm saying that is don't mean two shit. of them beat all the good teams. No, they didn't. He, they beat Buffalo. That's it. Who else they beat that was a good team? Who else? Did he beat the Jets? Jets ain't good. Come on, man. I think he beat the Jets. Don't, I think don't quote me did. on that. They don't quote did, but me the Jets on that. ain't good. The Jets is former. No, no the Come Jets. On, excuse me. Don't make the mistake of a good record, meaning you're a good team. If you ain't playing nobody, you see what they just had. How they fuck they looked the last two weeks. Yeah, they coming right. back to reality. Yeah, I understand that, but on, Bill Belichick owned them, so you know exactly. And, and the Jets got way more talent than the Bills. <laughs> That's I mean, like, that, that, it don't that, matter. Uh, when, listen to what I'm saying is you can't take that serious. Like, you can't take, for instance, y'all beating us all the time. Like, I always say, but Debo. We own listen y'all. Listen what I'm saying. Debo, like I always say, Debo would be the best wide receiver, the best running back, the best player in the NFL, period, if he played us every week. You but know then, why we own y'all? Because your coach models his style after my coach. No, he doesn't. He's Danielson and, Mc, no, and, and Shanahan Miyagi. The, the, the reason why y'all own us is because McVay overthinks this matchup. Because he knows that he's a youngin' to Shanahan. No, he, used, he used basically the same shit. No, you know why? Because McVeigh is like what I say with you. M- McVeigh worry about the moral stuff. Like that stuff don't matter. Like you're 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 thinking too deep. Of. So what I'm saying is mm-hmm. McVeigh will put three three weeks worth of energy into one San Fran game. Mm-hmm. Yes, he will. We bro. know that y'all only go as far as Cooper Cup goes, and he's playing the majority of his snaps in a slot. He not gonna get a whole lot. He gonna get his some some numbers, but he not gonna he not gonna get that much in the motherfucking slot against us. Shit. This is what I'm feeling like. Da, 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 da. Let me tell you what I'm feeling like. Da, 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 da.